going along with the Angama Pride here in the middle of the night out in the Maasai Mara. And this is a pride of lions that we have definitely got to know very well over the last few weeks. All four of the ladies are out tonight and we've got two of them in our sights, both of whom are flanking around, moving towards a herd of zebra at the base of the escarpment. You can see them stopping and listening. I've spent the entire afternoon and evening with them watching them with their cubs and then eventually leaving the cubs behind to move off in a search of their next meal. And now we wait. I'm just going to use my thermal device to check and see where, if I can see the other two lionesses. I can't, just these two. Nope, there's three of them. There's three lionesses that have gathered together, all looking to each other for instruction and the plan of action. Remember, all of this is being viewed in infrared Watching this in infrared light, we're not shining spotlights on them. We're watching their hunt play out without disturbing it in any way. There you go, you can see them watching intently. Oh, with my thermal camera, I can see the lioness on the left is the one that's closest to the zebra. The zebra are just, just in front of her. At least I think it's zebra. I can't really tell. Yeah. Can you see it there, Vim? Just a little bit. Looks like zebra to me. The zebra haven't realized. I can see they've all got their heads down. And somewhere there's a fourth lioness. Could she have gone around the back? And just by the way, Viam is the one giving you this incredible camera work. The lioness is on the right, is sitting, waiting patiently. It's the one on the left that's going to initiate the action, I think. Here she goes. She's going to try and chase those zebra in the direction of the rest of the pride. Stopping to look and listen. She's got the advantage of complete darkness. There's about a half moon at the moment, so from my eyes, not through the eyes of the camera, I can only just make out the odd tree or stump or termite mound. She, of course, is seeing everything very clearly. There we go, there are the other two lionesses. Waiting patiently. I'm just going to do one more check to see if I can see the fourth lioness. Nope. I think she took a rest somewhere at the back. Or else she's about to surprise us. Megan, you say, come on girls. I agree, Megan. Absolutely. Having seen them with their cubs, having... Oh, okay. We're going to sit down. I wonder if that fourth lioness is somewhere there to the left. Here comes number three. Sneaky. <laughs> Look at the sideways step. That's so cool. Step, step, glide. Oh, I think she's decided that the first lioness wasn't doing a good enough job. Now she's going to take over. Don't you wish you could know exactly how they coordinated that? That decision? What made them decide to do that? I'm quite far away from them at the moment. So I'm just going to wait till all of them stop and then I'm going to move forward. Obviously, we're very, very cautious and very aware that we cannot impact their hunts in any way. She's going around off to the left. Okay, I'm just going to move a bit. Julie, you say it's so fascinating to watch a little bit of the action. I know exactly what you mean, Julie. Just got to be careful of a hole or two in front of me. An act of faith, driving off-road at night in the dark. I 
apologize those of you hearing the vibrations that's my windscreen on the bonnet nothing I can do about that at the moment okay let's stop here flanking once again all three of them moving very very close so the lioness that moved off to the left she's gone far away now she's actually moved right around she's going to chase these zebras straight towards us and towards the two waiting lionesses there she is you can just see her in the gloom the other two poised and ready Graham in final control is saying, Viam, you were rocking it. He is, isn't he? There's no one in the world I'd rather, well, that I'd rather have than our amazing cameraman. We're so, so lucky to have such skilled professionals with us. And Linus has moved even further off to the left. I'm going to go a little bit further. I can't see a thing in front of me, so it's still very much an act of faith. Oh, I'm still very far away from the lions, just so that you know, so that you're not concerned about the impact we're having. Remember, the camera zoom actually takes you much closer to the action than we are. So we're not impacting them. I just don't want to go too forward in case the action kicks off. Lionesses are getting closer. There she goes. And the zebra just behind that. It's hard to gauge distance in the dark. Let's go a bit closer still. She's going to use that termite mound. Stopping to see where the other lioness is. There you go, girls. Zebra are at the back over there. There's the zebra. Look how close she is. She's so close now. She's waiting, waiting for the signal from the other lioness. Slinking round the termite mound. This is going to happen at any moment now. See the other two lionesses. We saw how quickly all of it started not so long ago. When they run, I'm relatively certain that that lioness is going to chase them in our direction. get this right. I've driven around this place. I've done three circles around this area. These are the only zebra here. Oh, there's a hyena calling in the distance. So we know that they're going to be ready and waiting once these lionesses make a kill. You can hear the wind is howling. That's also why there's a lot of haze and dust in the air. Okay, this lioness is settled for now. I'm just going to move a little bit further forward. Hold on. Lioness is up again. She's sneaking forward. Here she goes. You can just see the tips of the blacks of her ears. And those unsuspecting zebra in the background. Okay, she's down again. None of the zebra have lifted their heads, which is good. Okay. Zebra 
still there. I can't see the lioness anymore. Remember there's that third lioness or second lioness. I've lost track of how many, <laughs> which number she was that's moved and flanked to the left of that herd. The lioness was just to the right of that termite mound. I think she's gone completely flat. And there's still a fourth lioness in play somewhere around here. thing I can see are the unsuspecting zebra but that's exactly what happened to us the other evening and then all of a sudden the action started there. Just saw the glint of her eyes. You, you say no idea how all of us fit into the vehicle. Myself, Liam, and of course, Robert Arascari. Oh, sorry, Richard Arascari. It is not a tight fit, actually. These cars are massive compared to Jigga and to Rusty and to Wendy back home on Juma. They're much, much larger, so we're all okay. Um, I think probably the poor Ascari at the back is the worst of it because we've just put new springs in. So we're bouncing a little bit. This lion hunt is going to happen any moment now. It is going to happen. But it's very difficult where these lions gone. I'm just going to do one more check with the thermal. Probably should remember to take my foot off the brake. I can see the zebra so clearly in the thermal. Do you know where that other lioness is? Don't believe it. She's gone all the way round into the forest. Now I know that you can't see what I'm seeing. But she's actually looped right around using the tree line to her advantage. So she is going to chase them back down in this direction. Okay. One more. You got it? Lioness. There's the lioness. They've got to watch so carefully what's going on. I don't know how they do it. And when I look up, all I see in front of me is complete inky blackness. So what you're seeing is utterly astounding. Some of the zebras have looked up in the direction of that flanking lioness. I think they've heard something, but they haven't realized that they're right in the jaws of a closing trap. And that's the idea. One decoy lioness moving around them so that if she does startle them are there two lionesses there Viam or is that a very strangely shaped bush it's just one I see it's just the one yeah that makes sense wouldn't make sense to put all your players your main players in one place oh there they go there they go they've seen something but they're panicking now they're racing off to the left. There they go. I can't see a lioness. They've gone in the wrong direction, and I think that might be the end of it. Ah. Oh. Sorry, girl. Oh, dear. So close. But she just startled them at the wrong moment, and they slipped into the one area where there wasn't any lioness to catch up with them. All right, let's move forward. Let's see if we can catch up with our poor lioness. Oh, sorry, girl. It was a clever tactic. But this time, it didn't quite work out the way she had planned. Oh, hold on, everybody. Oh, there's a road here. Who would have guessed? Not me, apparently.
Right, now, I would have found them again in the dark. Hold on one second. Let's just make sure we're not... Oh, there we go. Okay, one lioness there, two lionesses over there, and no zebra at all. Oh, sorry girls. It was a good try, but unfortunately, no luck this time. Which seems, well, which we know is exactly how things go out here. There were two lionesses there. That was silly, ladies. You put two main players in one place. If that other lioness, if that third lioness has stayed where she was, they might actually have succeeded there. Whoopsie. Sorry, girls. And now you're going to have to try again. Let's get a little bit closer, since now I know roughly what she Right, well, we're going to stick with the lovely Angamas throughout the night to see what they get up to. They will try again. And so, I think it's time for us to say bid you farewell for now and we'll see you once the ladies have recovered from their failed attempt.